Hi, I'm Cynthia Webster of Sindustries, home of the award-winning multi-format Xerosolator, the analog solution to Chowning-style linear FM synthesis. People ask us, why do I need a Xerosolator? What's so special about Through Zero technology? And the answer, in a word, musicality. Your music will actually sound better with a Xerosolator. It's true. Here we are in the lab with a ModCan A-Series format Xerosolator. And let's use it to see what's so special about our Through Zero technology. We'll start by breaking tradition a little bit. Instead of listening to a sine wave, we'll go with a triangle wave. It's got a few more harmonics and is just a little spicier, and that's why I like it. We're listening to the Xerosolator. The triangle wave comes straight from the core, the heart of the Xerosolator, without any other wave shaping. See? Typical triangle wave. There we are. Textbook example. A little wider. There we are. So, now we can take a typical oscillator as a modulator and feed a sine wave out of that into the AC coupled input of the dynamic FM inputs of the Zer oscillator and take this looping envelope generator and feed that into the index VCA and open it up. There we have classic Chowning style linear FM. And by adjusting the frequencies of the modulator and the listening oscillator, we can make big changes. those kind of whacked out waveforms, those aren't your daddy's waveforms from the Heath kit. Okay, let's try the three position bias switch and see what bias changes do. Wow, that's some big piece of metal being struck by a hammer. Sounds big and massive, doesn't it? What would this sound like if it wasn't through zero? Well, let's turn off the through zero switch and find out. Oh. That's not through zero. That's clangorous and inharmonic and non-melodious. Non let's try through zero. That's better. Let's some, try some other examples. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Rather realistic. Again, what would this sound like if we weren't using a Xerosolator? What would this sound like if we turned off the Through Zero technology? It would sound like this. Oh dear. That's not what we want. We want Through Zero. We want a Xerosolator. Don't we? So far, we've been using the AC coupled input of the Zer oscillator's dynamic inputs. If we put this over here to the DC coupled input, we will experience a slight pitch shift. It's subtle, but there's a EU, EU with every note, which is tiresome to the ear, especially over time. I'll switch it over and we can listen for the difference. Yow, yow, yow. You hear yow, yow, yow? Okay. Let's try some other pitches, some other examples. There's a little pitch shift there, but it's still sonically interesting. Now, what would that sound like if it was not through zero technology? Here we go. Oh, golly gosh. No. We like through zero. Once again, through zero, not through zero.
Do you realize that you've been cheated out of half of your modulation all this time by all the other oscillators out there? Not so with the Zer oscillator. It's true. Through Zero technology gives you a better sound, more musically pure, your mix is cleaner, and people like listening to your music more. It doesn't tire their ears. So get a Zer oscillator. I have a pet theory. I think that uh, John Chowning looked to Mandelbrot and what he was doing with his graphical equations where two little variations, two little variables rendered gigantic differences in a whole universe, a graphical universe created by the fractals of Mandelbrot. I think that Chowning was looking for an audio equivalent of this and by changing the pitch, those two variables, the pitch of the modulator and the oscillator, you get gigantic changes in your sonic universe. So it all makes sense to me. All right, let's try the typical police siren patch and see what that does with through zero and without. We'll listen again to the triangle wave, but this time This time we'll modulate it directly to the linear FM input summing node and open that up. See, here's your textbook triangle wave. Oh boy. Those aren't the waveforms from your daddy's Heath kit, right? <laughs> okay. So, if we put this in LFO mode, like a police siren patch, and we open this up, we can see here the netherworld, the anti-frequencies, or the negative phase output of the oscillator is shown by the green LED. The green LED is green because negative uh, phase here is a good thing. We like the green. We like the negative phase. But, Again, we wonder what is the difference with through zero or not through zero. So, let's see. This is through zero, and we flip the switch. Is that right? Half the modulation is gone. When we flip the switch, we lose half the modulation. Let's try that again. Now we're going to flip the switch. Half the modulation is gone. Gone. Do you realize that you've been cheated out of half your modulation all this time by every other oscillator out there? It's true. Not so with the Zer oscillator. And it's true that your patches will sound better and your mix will be cleaner and it will be more sonorous and more beautiful to the ear and people will like listening to your music. So, that's about it. We're out of time here with the Zer oscillator, but we thought you'd enjoy seeing the difference of what makes them so very special. This is our uh, ninth year making modules, making synthesizer bits, and this is our ninth different panel of Zer oscillator. Our ninth different flavor is in the works right now. We have hundreds of customers in over 35 countries, and they're all happy bleepers and we hope you'll become one too. Remember, there's a future for you with a brand new Zer oscillator in your system. Thank you, I'm Cynthia Webster. Take it easy.